How's it going? Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're talking about comparing stabilizers for your RV. So today, we're going to be looking at three main stabilizers that uh, we are familiar with and have used and comparing them together as far as uh, how stable they are, uh, how they are to set up, and just our, our overall thoughts on each of these stabilizers. The first stabilizer that we used in the beginning was the tripod. Now, the tripod is gonna be specifically for fifth wheels. They don't work on any other vehicle or RV um, or trailer or anything like that. And then the second one we're gonna be talking about is the steady fast system. Now, there is an upfront installation that you have to do on that. And then the third one that we're gonna be looking at is the Valterra Universal. And those can be used on just about any type of RV out there. Um, I wanna bring my wife in, my wife Chris, and have her tell you her thoughts on which one she liked the best. So I actually did some tests to see if you could actually notice how much the stabilizers were, how, how effective they were. So um, I would go outside without telling Chris and I would uh, turn off some of the stabilizers, like I would disengage the steady fast one and I'd put on like the tripod or I would do the Valterra one, uh, the universal one. And uh, she could often notice um, which one it was, which one was most noticeable to you. Most noticeable was the tripod. When everything else was taken off and it was just the tripod doing it, it was for sure more shaky. Like the boys would just walk by and I'm like, man, why are we like wobbling so much? And I had, before we only had the tripod and I thought it was great having the tripod, so. It is an improvement yes. using the tripod. It is an improvement, but it was noticeable after having something besides just the tripod, Yes. noticing that, wow, it still really did shake quite a bit and it was a huge amount. Like I couldn't believe it. It was really quick that I noticed it and I had no idea he had even moved it over. Yeah, and the tripod is, like you said, is what we used for just about a year. Yeah. And uh, it does help with stability, but I'm gonna say that it was it was third on our list. Right. Definitely. Now uh, the one that's right in the middle is the the Valterra one. And right. how long did that take you to figure out? I I want to say it was about a half of a day before I noticed yeah. it. And I would be in there, and you know I didn't really notice it when I wasn't on the slide or up in our bedroom area. If I was just in the main living area or in the kitchen area, I really didn't notice that big of a difference. Um, but it was when I would sit on the couch or be at the table and the kids would run by or walk by, you'd be like, whoa, it's shaking over here. Um, so that's where I noticed it for that. Yeah, it was hilarious because I, I knew that I changed things around and I, I would like feel something move and I'd kind of like look at her and she had no idea that I was even like <laughs> testing her. So. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and the best has actually been the steady fast. Yeah, for yeah. stability, I would yes. I would say that comes in number one. Valterra uh, came in a, a close second. I mean, it does pretty good. And third is is the tripod. And yeah. we'll talk about more of the the pros and cons of each of those because um, you know there's not a one size fits all. So uh, I'm going to talk about some of that. But I like this because I was messing with my wife and she didn't <laughs> even know it. So now I want to go over some of the differences in the setup. So let me take you around and show you what that's all about. Here we are at the back of the trailer and this is one of our scissor jacks. It's just your typical scissor jack that you see on, on most RVs out there. Now they're great for helping you stabilize your trailer as far as uh, vertical movement, but as far as lateral movement, anything going front to back or side to side, um, it's not going to help out all that much. So you can see our bracket for the Steadyfast system is right next to it. And this one is extremely simple to set up. Now, once we have our trailer um, level and situated the way we would like it, I'm just gonna go around and tighten up these three brackets and the system's done, it's ready. Like we don't have to do anything else. Now, if you're interested in the install and what's involved in that, uh, because that is a more of an upfront install, um, we did a video on that previously, so you can check that out. So as far as speed and efficiency of setting up once you go out camping, this one's tops on my list. The second system we wanna look at is the Valterra system, and that has two stabilizers that you're going to install each time you use this. So there's gonna be one that goes near the front door, and it's gonna help with the movement going uh, front to back. And then there's gonna be one that you place at the front 
of the RV and it's gonna be stabilizing side to side. So these just, you can expand them or collapse them and then you can uh, set them up underneath the frame of the RV. And then you have a ratchet strap that you're gonna tie in between each of those legs and tighten that up. Now it's gonna give you the stability for that movement to those sides, but you have to set this up and tear it down each time, which uh, may not be a huge deal. And it comes with these carrying bags and they're, it's actually a pretty light system. So um, the amount of stability you get, no install, and it's pretty quick to set up. Uh, a little bit longer than the Steady Fast, but uh, you, it, you do get quite a bit of stability out of these and they could be used on just about any RV. Okay, let's talk about the tripod here as one of the last stabilizers. So it is uh, mounted in the front. I'm sure you've seen these before and it has that tripod stance. And then it uh, has this chain that uh, ties the legs together and it's supposed to stabilize it in, in both lateral directions. But this one didn't perform quite as well as the other ones. Um, but this one's easy to set up. Uh, you don't have a lot of pieces and moving parts to move around. Uh, so this is a, a pretty simple setup if you're not looking to crawl underneath there and, and set up anything or tighten any brackets. So uh, this might be an option for you if you're wanting to. So let's give it a quick recap. We think that the steady fast system is the fastest to set up when you're camping and uh, the, the most stable from the ones that we tested. Uh, there is an install, so if you're a little afraid of that, you might wanna look at the other two options, but uh, fastest and most stable. So that one comes in number one for us. Uh, number two, a close second, is the Valterra stabilizers. Now these work, uh, they, they have the same idea as the Steady Fast system, um, but you have to get down there. It takes a little bit longer to install them and it's not quite as stable as the other one. So uh, that one comes in in a close second and the tripod, um, very simple, but it doesn't quite get as close as the other two. So uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today. So um, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and hopefully we will see you on the road. And if not, we will catch you next time.